Hey guys, Chad here with Fast Fitness. So this is the time of the year where we're surrounded with sugar and candy. Um, so what we're gonna talk about today is how to eat less sugar or feel less cravings for sugar. Um, kind of going back a little bit, if you go back to 1822, a little ways back, about 200 years ago, uh, the average amount of sugar consumed on a, on a yearly basis was 6.3 pounds. So if you come to you know, current modern days, um, 2012, 2015, we're eating about 130 pounds of sugar each year. So that's multiplied uh, by about 20 times as much since 1822. Um, a, a significant amount, obviously. And we wanna uh, focus on some ways that you can have less of that sugar because the more sugar we eat, uh, the more weight we gain, the less healthy we become, the more risk factors, heart disease, blood pressure, high cholesterol, nasty stuff um, that you don't want to deal with. So eating more protein will actually help you reduce uh, your sugar because you're, you're satisfied longer. So if you base your breakfast around some boiled eggs or your, uh, your lunches and dinners around chicken or turkey, fish, um, and have that as a big uh, main portion, and with vegetables surrounding it, or even have as many vegetables as you want. Um, you can fill up on those, and the protein, to keep you satisfied, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be craving as many sweets. Another thing, uh, artificial sweeteners, you would think they'd be great, uh, especially in your sodas, because you know, they're very low calorie or no calorie. And however, you know, studies show that it actually makes you crave more real sugar. So that's not gonna be helpful for you. Um, to, you know, uh, to see your goals through if you're craving sugar constantly. And steer clear of uh, other sabotagers. So maybe you have some, some friends, some coworkers, even family that uh, in a non-purposeful uh, way just want you to try their sweets or have something that you know you shouldn't when you're going out with them. And everybody's had that person, oh, come on, try it, oh, come on, try it. But you gotta be strong, you know, don't let others influence you. You're doing the right thing by avoiding that. Um, and dark chocolate, you know, if, if you need something sweet, uh, especially if you're a chocolate person, then go 70% or more instead of the sugary milk chocolate. Uh, but if you, if you go a little bit darker, uh, you're getting less sugar, but you're still, you know, satisfying those, uh, those cravings for sweets and chocolate. And our natural sweetener, of course, nature made, is fruit. So there's hundreds of different types of fruits out there. Just have, have what you want, um, what you enjoy, one or two throughout the day, um, or for a snack, or uh, even you know, if you need something after dinner for, say, a dessert, then you could have a piece of fruit. Change your palate. So this is actually what happens over the course after reducing your amount of sugar for a week or even two weeks. Your body feels differently. You actually have more energy and um, your, your taste buds begin to shift because you're feeding more protein and vegetables, not having so much of the toxic sugar, then your body and your, um, your pH level changes. Your palate actually craves more healthy foods and less sweet, sugary foods. So if you quit soda for a long period of time and then you go back to having a Coke, uh, you might really taste how extra sugary or syrupy that Coca-Cola will taste. Uh, give it a try. And uh, last, but not least, work out like you mean it. And here's the thing, you know, we have uh, a lot of stresses in life, especially nowadays, so we tend to gravitate towards things that uh, we, we, we feel like we can kind of just let loose at the end of the day and enjoy something, a reward, our sweetness, or relax with, uh, you know, a glass of wine, some candy. Um, and, and basically, you know, that's just adding extra sugar we don't need and it's gonna make you crave more sugar later. So when you work out, actually what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your body's own stress relieving system in there. It's a, the best way you can let go of that. Um, and, and also it's gonna curb some appetite too, um, doing it correctly, which, uh, which is all good. Helping you become lean, healthier you. And that's a, that's a plan for this month of November, right after a Halloween candy, get it out of the house. Uh, avoid these these things and work on the rest so you can get better at it. All right, uh, let us know if you have any questions.